Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lick MRI, and this is a patient who has a large rotator cuff tear, their supraspinatus tendon up here, we can see the muscle tendon comes across, it is torn about here, it looks like it's a complete tear of the supraspinatus with some retraction to about the 12 o'clock position of the humeral head here, some scar tissue at the attachment. If we move forwards, we see that the subscapularis tendon over here, it also has a tear, we don't see the broad subscapularis coming across and this is a lesser tuberosity. We don't see the broad tendon there, so they have a, a, a large tear of their subscapularis tendon as well. And we see this coming across. This is the biceps tendon that's medially dislocated. Here it is coming down across, medial to the bicepital groove. The groove is way out here. And the biceps tears are seen with the subscapularis tendon tears. When the subscapularis tendon attaches to the lesser tuberosity, and there's also a component that covers the bicepital groove and holds the biceps in place. Now in this axial view, we can see the biceps tendon attaching here up high or originating up here from the biceps labial anchor. We're going to follow it down, down, down. This is the lesser tuberosity where the subscapularis footprint would be, but instead it's torn. And again, there's a transverse ligament component that goes over the top of the bicepital groove here. And when that tears, the biceps tendon can slip immediately, and it goes between a lot of times the fibers of the subscapularis tendon. You can see some are superficial here. If we go down lower, some of the fibers are deep. So a dislocated tear of the, uh, I'm sorry, a tear of the subscapularis tendon uh, and associated dislocation of the biceps long head. Now down lower in the arm here, here's the humeral, uh, the humeral shaft and you can see this long structure here. This is the uh, pectoralis major tendon coming down here attaching. I almost never see this usually with the, when the biceps is intact and there's no fluid around here really can't discern this very well, but this is, happens to catch it just right to see that um, a tendon coming down here to attach on the humerus. And you can see how small it looks. Here's the bottom, we're gonna move up, and then we're out of it. So pretty small attachment there, which is surprising for such a big, strong muscle to have such a small tendon uh, and a, such a, a limited attachment. So this is a biceps tendon dislocation. Here it is again, medial to the bicepital groove. And thank you very much.